Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mika from Yes Please Planning. This is an organized with me video that shows my process for decluttering one drawer in my planner desk. So the problem I've been having is that when I sit down to work on my projects, I have to get up, go across the room to grab certain supplies. And then the supplies that are actually at my desk, I have to really go through those drawers to find exactly what I need. So what happens is I just don't end up using my supplies. And right now I really haven't been spending much time creating at all because I just don't enjoy sitting here to try to work on projects. My goal is to create a space that has everything I really want to use right within arm's reach. This isn't an extremely organized process for me. There's a lot of kind of going back and forth to try to figure out exactly what I want. I'm really interested in hearing your feedback about my arm's reach project. So please leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of the video or of my process, anything like that. So let's go ahead and cut to the footage of my decluttering and reorganizing process. My first step was to add temporary labels to my IKEA Alex drawers. I knew that I wanted the new top drawer to house materials for in-progress projects. I wanted to keep the next three for washi tape, but I left the bottom two unlabeled because I wasn't sure in the beginning about what combination of mixed media stamps and tools I wanted to include. The next step that I take is to go through my studio and find some of the supplies that I want to have closer to me. So I head over to this black iris drawer system. I'm taking all of my stamps, my mixed media supplies out of here and those will go now into my Alex drawers. I'm also finding some other miscellaneous things that I want to work with. Then I make my way back to my planner desk to start clearing out the bottom Alex drawer, which I had been using for tools, but there were so many things in here that I seldom reached for, so this valuable real estate was really just wasted space. And wait for it. Okay. <laughs> Those of you who have been watching my videos, you will know that I've been using all kind of random things with my um, trim and scoreboard to do the scoring because I couldn't find my scoring tool. I found it. <laughs> yes. So now I have a question for you. What's your favorite way to reorganize your spaces? Do you do like this massive overhaul all at once or do you take it one small section at a time? Let me know down in the comments section. Periodically I find that something has dropped behind the drawer and I can't close it all the way. So I'm just giving it a check to see if there's something back there. And of course there is. So I'm trying to pull it out and I just decide to go ahead and dismantle this drawer real quick so I can do it the right way. Maybe I'll find some other goodies that I haven't seen in a while. I have everything cleared from the abyss um, behind the drawers and um, it feels like this sense of accomplishment. <laughs> it really it feels amazing and like I can literally feel the stress and the creative tension melt away with every little handful of stuff that I'm taking out. I run into a problem. I get really stuck on just trying to figure out what's the next step. So to help me focus, I decided to write out the sign that says currently in use and I'm just taking things out that I want to use for the next few months. I'm thinking about, do I have an idea of how I want to use this item for right now? And if not, then I'm putting it to the side. I'm not worrying about de-stashing at this, you know, during this process. Let me give you some more insight into my thought process here. It doesn't make sense for me to keep eight um, removable tape rolls right here. I only need 
one that's open that I'm using and the others can go in a longer term storage so that I can have more things that I want to use. These clear pockets, it's not something that I would use on a weekly basis. So I'll put this away somewhere else. My tattered old glue gun. Same thing with my fuse tool. Definitely not gonna be put into use on everyday projects. But I decided to go ahead and empty out this drawer. Some of the supplies are being used, but I am going to need to sort through and be a little bit more thoughtful in terms of what I'm actually putting in here. Now my drawer will just be painting and embossing supplies. I'm finding a ton of different pens and markers. Things that are more used for just writing, um, Tombow, Sharpies, all that, those pens are a whole different thing. But the things that um, are more artsy, I'm going to put in here. Okay, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I tried to get away with skipping a really important organizing step here. I started putting away things in the new drawer before sorting through all of my craft supplies. That totally did not work because I kept finding, of course, more and more stuff and not knowing where to put it and getting frustrated. Totally learned my lesson there. So I took everything back out and began sorting properly into light categories. And from there, it'll be more clear where I need to put everything inside the drawer. Okay, so this is good. Scary, <laughs> but good. At least I have everything sorted now. Obviously, all of this is not going to fit in there. I think what I'll do is I'll keep the paints separate. Once I finally get all the paints organized into that 12 by 12 iris drawer, I just, you know, kind of think about like the fact that I store that drawer system separately. Essentially, I have to get up out of my chair when I'm working and go a few steps away and um, that's obviously not the most efficient for workflow. Um, my goal is arm's reach. One more idea comes to mind. So I go and grab this container from Michael's. Its purpose is to store washi. So I'm gonna try my paints out in here and see if that works out. After all of that shifting around, this is the best thing that I've come up with so far. Organized more or less by Roy G. Biv. Underneath, there's the acrylic pens. This container, although it's really like functional and makes good use of space in and of itself, I just don't like the plastic. It just it doesn't make me feel like happy to go inside this container and pick it up. Um, but it's a really useful storage system. So anyway, I try it out for a while and see how it works out. I definitely don't need all of these watercolor paint sets, so I am going to just pare it down to what I can fit in this one section. Way more things need to fit in this drawer than what this is going to allow. So I think I'm gonna go ahead now and take these pouches out of this drawer. And I've decided to put the heavier items inside this drawer. I decide to label the tops. So I've got it all labeled here. Some gesso, some larger white paints, gel medium. I definitely have a whole lot more than just this, but these are the ones that I've been using lately. The next set of items I'm gonna transfer is embossing powders, some dimensional glazes, some glitters and chunky glitters. So these are all things that will kind of add texture to my projects. I'm looking at both of these Artist Loft watercolors. I don't need both of these right now, so 
Let me just put them to the side with my surplus mixed media stuff. I have a ton of these little mini misters. I don't know why I have so many. Uh, I only need one for now, so <laughs> these will go in surplus and I'll just keep this one in the drawer. I decided to go ahead and just stick all the paint brushes and water brushes inside. I don't want to sort through them right now. These containers that I use for my um, water and mixing paints take up a lot of space, so I'll just stick them under the table for now. And I think I think I'm good for now. This drawer is as good as it's gonna get. I'll you know I'll use the things that are in here and see what the workflow is like and adjust at some point when I feel like I've got a better idea of what I'm gonna do. So that's it guys. You know, it's funny when I look back at that last little walkthrough of the drawer, it kind of doesn't look a whole lot different than what I started with because it's, you know, it's still the same supplies. I just feel so much more ready to sit down at my desk and start creating again. But I can't do that until I clean the desktop. For those of you who are still watching, here's a little view of what the top of my desk really looks like at this exact moment. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you found value in this video, please like the video, consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, don't forget to come by and say hi on Instagram at yesplanning. Bye-bye.